That's right, I named my battle robot Devataster. Ready! Fight! Steambot Chronicles Battle Tournament, where you are fighting other Steambots. It's a combination adventure game mixed with a battle tournament style game where you fight against other Steambots. Actually, they're called Trotmobiles. And I thought that Vonzers from Front Mission was a ridiculous title for destructive battle robots. Trotmobiles? Seriously? Couldn't they have been called like death bringing stomp monsters or something? Metal steam powered doom machines. These things are used for a variety of tasks, everything from newspaper deliveries to chopping down trees to fighting other trotmobiles and crushing them. All while winning money and experience. You cannot crush other vehicles and pedestrians on the road. That's the first thing I tried. But you can equip your Trotmobile with a flamethrower. That's the second thing I tried. Actually, the third. No, I think I put a saw on his left hand first and then started attacking other robots with it. The one similarity that this has with the Front Mission series, which is one of my favorite game series ever, is that you can modify your Trotmobile I'm just going to stop using that word because I don't like it. You can modify your battle robot any way that you want. You can put on all kinds of arms and weapons and different legs and accessories and armor. That's really cool. And then you can fight other... I almost said it. You can fight other battle monster robot things. Like many adventure style games and RPG style games, you complete a variety of random tasks and a storyline, an overarching storyline, progresses throughout the game. Each task that you complete gives you experience and you level up your character so that you can enter more challenging battle tournaments with other robot monster things. And you can buy upgrades and repair your destructive doom machine. It's like Voltron without the lions and much smaller. I'd still like to see Voltron vs. Devastator, but I named my guy Devataster in honor of Devastator, so you can see where my whole thought process is going with this. If it's got robots and flamethrowers, it can't be all bad. The overall controls and production value are done very well. This is on the Sony PlayStation Portable, the PSP. You turn your guy left and right with the front trigger buttons and move him around with the analog thumbstick. What we're looking at here is the upgrade process, which is fairly in-depth. You can do a lot of different things to your guy to your destructive monster truck, which uh, looks like somebody put a Mini Cooper on top of Ed 209, and then mixed it with a forklift. You can change your robot death stomping monster colors. And even design a little emblem that goes on it. The adventure part of the game is fairly lighthearted. This is definitely not a serious, dark game. Not at all like Front Mission. And this is not a strategy game either, so really the only similarity is the fact that you can get in these cool little robot things and modify them. And they're both from Japan. I, I suppose that's got something to do with it, because nothing is more practical in combat than a walking robot. Oh, hello. It's like the wheel should just have not been invented. Everything should have legs and giant arms that crush things. Henry Ford had it all wrong. He should have just skipped right past the Model T and gone with Transor Z. That rhymes. I would have liked to have seen a little more care with the art design and the adventure style of the game, but in my opinion, the overall strength of Steambot Chronicles Battle Tournament is in the Battle Tournament. The adventure part of the game is not bad, it's kind of neat to go out and just crush everything in your way and level your guy up and earn money and then decide how to upgrade your robot monster truck. 
but it just seems to come together when you get into the battle tournament and actually you have to use a bit of strategy and it ga the game gets much harder as you progress through, through the different levels. Much of what we're watching here is the earlier part. We are the Dark Scorpion! The guy in the right has some pretty sweet hair. They look like characters out of Reading Rainbow. There they are again! What should we do? One of the big, big strengths of this game is, is something I wasn't able to even test, which is the multiplayer. This is published by Atlas, and according to them, you can play with up to four people from one PSP disc. Assuming your friends have PSPs, I was not able to test Ready? that, but I could see where that would be really cool because Fight. the tournament part of this game is a lot of fun, especially when you get to modify your robots and put on saws and flamethrowers and giant swords. And there's even one weapon which is like a tree that you hit people with. If you like customizable robot-style games, check out Steambot Chronicles for PSP. Just don't name your robot Devataster, because that's the name of my robot. You'll have to come up with your own name, like Ed209.3. 